Hello and welcome to another short tutorial which is well not only about Blazor, it's actually about .NET in general. Maybe you'll find yourself in such a situation, you see it here, Visual Studio is open, you coded something and you want to test it and then you open the terminal, package manager console, whatever, and you enter .NET watch run and after a few seconds you see this big red wall and you think what the heck is going on and essentially this thing only tells you that this port is already in use well if you're like me maybe you work at several projects at the same time and the only option you have now is to kill the other .NET process or change the port but if you're a lazy guy like me I don't want to change the port I want to kill the other process uh, now you can use the task manager to do that but this is tedious sometimes and the other option is to simply stay at the console or in the console and kill the other .NET processes first if you want you can just show them with get process dash name and then dot net like that and there they are these are all the processes and to kill them you can simply add a pipe and then say stop process now they are gone we can list them again but if there isn't one process then you get this message and then we can try to run our application again with dotnet run or dotnet watch run and as you can see the server is running and we can continue working on our project or see the result well that's it thank you very much for clicking the like button and maybe subscribing to my channel if you learned something i would really appreciate that i have to say thank you to all my supporters who bought me a coffee really need it thank you very much Maybe you want to do that as well. Thank you for subscribing to my newsletter because with this newsletter you get information like this little short tutorial in your inbox or maybe you get information about upcoming courses, discounts, early access and so on. And maybe if you want to dive deeper into Blazor WebAssembly already, please check out the link in the video description below or the info card. There you can see a two hour preview of the full course and maybe you want to enroll into that course. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I see you next time. Take care.